set, play. Oh, you made a face, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> Truth, what are some things you think about when sitting on the toilet? Oh. Is the poop gonna be is red? This, is this? <laughs> Apparently, oh. you have to smell somewhat stinky shoes. Oh. Or so and that is bad. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to the YouTube family. Okay, and this is the fourth truth and dare video that we are doing today because um, if you guys don't know we what? have been isolated in our house hiding from well we're not exactly Walter. sure if it's Walter the government or the visitors that All are three. trying to contact us or trying to spy on us outside our house so we've been stuck in our house Audrey came over right. um, for a visit we haven't given her many details so she's this is kind of <laughs> new to her yeah. now I roped into this too yeah. we're trying not to bring her and Spencer in too much on it because we don't want them to always have to be watching their backs as well watch your back Audrey so but now yes we <laughs> may or may not have contacted aliens and messed with the government yeah, open the portal so, to an unknown world let me get this over just a couple more entries whoa the light Jake Jake oh no I gotta get this entry out Jake Jake can you hear me so anyway, we're kind of stuck in our house. We've been playing games. We're doing truth or dare. You can find it on Just Jordan 33 Odd Vlogs. And Jake and Ty, for the <laughs> other ones, they were so funny. Yes. I so got crazy. at least one truth. <laughs> Only one. All right, Jake so we're going to go bears. again and start with David. Okay. I can tell you, I had a little bit of both. There we go. <laughs> and if you have no clue what I'm talking about, the crash site, look at the visitors at the beginning and follow our series because that will fill you in on a lot. Oh my goodness. Guys, I hope that got on camera. Did you see that? Okay, I got a dare. Spin around 10 times and the balance and balance a book on your head. Oh boy. Hey. Oh. Daisy, Daisy. Okay. okay, and then balance it on your head. And let's have you walk to the front door. Balance on your head. And eat a. And sing your ABCs. Okay. A, B, C. Down further. Bite it. You have to like bite. bite Sink your teeth. The problem with Jordan is that it's this cold. is a cold lime and she, her cold. teeth are sensitive to cold. My teeth are super sensitive. And her ears are sensitive <laughs> to cold. She's yeah. just sensitive. I am just it's sensitive. Too cold. Okay, ready? Set. Bite. bite. They're already almost done. Oh, you made a face. You lost. 
I she can't. did not do she it. She has to keep doing it then. It's too cold. Why are we all doing this there? Audrey, you like eat it. What? <laughs> Audrey loves it. <laughs> They don't even put sugar on it. They're just like, nom, 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 nom. Lemons are my favorite fruit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, All right, that's okay. a fruit. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Jake. Jacob. Wait. This, you don't know what they are. We're just going to be film. eating those for the rest of the <laughs> It's going to be an ASMR. It's a dare. <laughs> yes, a dare. We've only gotten dares so far. One Basically. <laughs> What is this, mom? <laughs> Read it. Um, get slapped on the face by your, a person of your choosing. Mom's gonna be too nice. I'm not gonna be nice. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> 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 that was a good slap. What did Jake ever do to you? How often do you get to slap your kids? Jake, you should have you should have picked me. I would have been like this. Yeah, I would have chosen Jordan. I would have chosen Jordan. Because I'm too. I, I would have never chosen. <laughs> I never. I just think you weren't you expecting chose, me to be mean. You should trust me because I'm really nice and I don't. Oh! <laughs> oh. Ah. Hey, Audrey, why don't you look into this little eye? Squeeze! Okay, Ty. Everyone's really up. nice, but I just want to slap because I'm, I'm not gonna. Oh, I didn't leave a red mark. No. <laughs> it wasn't a slap. Maybe a little bit. It was a little bit. Actually, there is a Okay, Ty, what'd you get? Truth, what are some things you think about when sitting on the toilet? Oh. Is the poop gonna be is this, red? Is this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wondering if it's gonna be a different color. Exposure! I don't Wait, think we should repeat that. Wow. Um, and why would you be worried about that? Hot Cheeto. Ah! So Tyler will sit down and eat like half a bag. Wow. He'd probably eat the whole bag if we let him, but we have to stop him. Okay, of not the only does it make hot... the poop red, <laughs> the way you guys hear what he's eating. The <laughs> flaming <laughs> Hot Cheetos or Takis. So, oh, and it will change the anatomy do, of things. What you do is you get flaming Hot Cheetos, and then you get the blue Hot Takis, and then you eat some Ram stuff, and then you get rainbow poop. <laughs> For all you kids out there who want to experiment, should we try rainbow poop? And if you have corn, oh, <laughs> corn with you you'll learn about that on Odd Vlogs. If you go watch this video this on so Odd Vlogs, you'll learn Why about that. Why are we means. exposing this? Okay, we're good. Let's move on. Don't try that at home. <laughs> Ty tries it every day. <laughs> I ran out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Out of the people in this room, who do you want to trade lives with? Oh! That's an interesting one. Who has the best life the here? <laughs> Not the dogs. You can't choose the dogs. It has to be I know everyone would pick the dogs if they could. Because we treat our dogs really good. I think I. Um, <laughs> the boys do have a good life playing computer games. True. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a pretty good life. But also, I'm about to move somewhere. But also, then you'd have to do all my schooling, too. Good you. school while you move? Uh-uh. Oh. I bet you want to. But the after. thing is, is do you want to go back in life or forward closer to retirement? That's that true. Insane. Wait, the rest of my life? Am I trading the rest of my life? I was going to say, because if you picked mom or dad, then you'd jump forward to. You don't want to um, pick us because right. we're old. Yeah, but she's closer to retirement versus like if she oh, picked Ty. But if I picked any life. of the kids, but she'll I never still go skydiving if she picks school. us. Well, I mean, I graduated high school, you but you, you have to do college. <laughs> I would have have to. That'd be fun. You wouldn't have to. You'd have to figure out what you're gonna do in life. Yeah, though. like you have to. I'm just saying that yeah. because if you keep your memories, then you know all the. Versus <laughs> like Audrey, she's like almost <laughs> done with college. This is just a pick thing. somebody. <laughs> I picked Jordan. Without socks, they reek. They just do. Like, Jordan, oh, shoes is the only time. Mind. I don't wear All socks. All my shoes smell good now. I did have one pair of shoes that from when oh. I lived in Florida. Oh, Jake just reeked. smelled them and they're bad. Let me smell. It's fine. It's fine. I know, literally. 
like it kind of sounds like rubber, 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 rubber. You know what you so really bad. should do? You like should you pour a liquid in there and then have to drink it out of the shoe. Ew! Dad. Yeah, we'll do that for you next. <laughs> well, Addie, that's your dare. Go ahead and don't draw one. Let's, Let's just have see. you do it. Let's see if I get it. <laughs> I feel like it's stuck in my mouth though. Like the smell doesn't go away. Yeah, I smell too. Because <laughs> I think away. Oh Dare. no, I smell it. <laughs> you do smell I it. Know. Okay, so it's not just me. It stays oh. in the hair. Oh, oh gross. Get out of the vicinity. Yeah. Oh, it's there. What's it's your dare. Yeah. What's your dare? <laughs> I thought we were playing another game over here. Let's eat a bite of a banana peel. All right. Who eats banana peels? Jordan, will you grab a banana off the Apparently counter? You do now. Okay, so the problem with eating a bite of banana peel is it leaves like your mouth kind of dry, and that like you can't get that dryness out of your mouth, even if you're trying to get saliva. Are our bananas rotten? They're brownish. <laughs> Dad gets his crusty, dusty banana. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, just take a bite wherever you want. The to. stem. The, the stem. <laughs> No, because it, it needs to be on no, the middle. No, you have to pill. put the whole stem Buy it from the middle. Buy it from the middle. Buy it from the middle. Do it from the bottom. Oh! oh. Ew. Dude, that bugs me so much. <laughs> this is so cringe. Ew. Oh. Is he going in for seconds? He's contemplating it. <laughs> Chewy. so bad. It's oh. really chewy. All I can smell is okay. banana and lime. Yeah, it's chewy. Gross. All right. <laughs> that is so gross. This is sour. You're still not. I've gotten like no. I yeah, it is like bitter. It's, it's so bitter. Sour. What? You haven't. I smell I banana shoe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I do okay. smell banana shoe too. Banana okay. Shoe. My turn. I, I am banana. nervous. Okay. He just smells shoe. I'm always nervous because I, I don't. Banana. The dares are like kind of scary. They are. Oh, I got a dare. Okay, of course. Hey, I may get a second true. Oh! Hey. Let the other player make a hat out of toilet paper for you to wear. Okay! Okay. I'll get the toilet um, paper. Fashion right. show. We're back, and Jake made a little, they're called fez hats, I believe, and it's yeah. what little um, monkeys wear. There we also, go. Also, yeah. you gotta balance your toilet paper hat. Sweet. <laughs> I like it. Now like she's a, a monkey. I know. It, does. it, does. it, does. it, does. it looks like it didn't oh. even change from its original being. <laughs> yeah, you could have just stuck a toilet paper roll on her head. Just do this. That's about what it looks like with the. Oh, oh. there. Ah! You'd be like that fungus guy. Let's <laughs> dare. A dare? <laughs> yes. Let the group wrap you in toilet paper. Ah, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rub away! He's a mummy! Like how Rub away! <laughs> I'll just stand like this so it's easier. Alright, someone has to help me here. Hold this. Oh, this is two ply, not one ply. <laughs> okay, so they're going to wrap Jake in wrapping paper and just basically make us so we can't move his arms apparently because he doesn't have them out. <laughs> okay. It's easier. He's done. No more video this games. Can't. <gasps> we we should have done this with duct tape. <laughs> oh no! We can't what? We can't waste this toilet paper. This is a very hot commodity. Is this ever going to be using That's all so of this? That's so 2020. Yeah, Dad, that was so, <laughs> so awesome. So we're just going to put a big pile of this. On the I'll toilet. become the new toilet paper roll. Yeah. <laughs> just wipe Jake on your booty. <laughs> no! Oh, this. this is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Well, it accidentally broke, so. Okay, we're done, and done with that. There you go. Okay, oh whose turn is it? Is like it's falling apart. Like yeah, it's falling apart. Where did that come from? I think Ty's turn. <laughs> I'm not going for that pink one. Ty, you The pink ones that might not be too bad this round. We had a round where the pinks were all like theirs, but. Bad day. Ah! The first word that comes to your mind. Mine! Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a dare? Mine! Oh, wow. The last thing he's reading. <laughs> that literally wow, was. Wow, what a dare. That was the first thing. Mine! It's mine. turkey! Turkey? Yeah. That was the easiest dare ever. Yeah, it was. Yes. Oh, gosh, stuck. Princess turkey. All right, what's this one? Oh, Dude. Jordan wrote it. <laughs> What's the longest you've gone without a shower? Oh! Almost. It had to be like a camping trip. But actually, I like still shower on camping trips, which suck. <laughs> you <laughs> say one day. I'm it had to be when I was a little kid. Do you think it's been like at least a week? A 
month? Um, maybe like, no! Wait, not not at least a week? No, I think it was probably like four days. Oh, I think I've gone a week before. But oh, day four, wait. you're getting pretty I've right. gone mine. Yeah, I'm just saying, four, I was little. Itchy. Okay, so there's two left, and I will let you guys choose. Okay, but you have to do pink for them. I just did yellow. I know, but since you chose for me, you have to do pink. You gotta let her finish. I was seeing if they would fall for it, but you shout it out before I finished my sentence. You said blue, I said blue. Okay, my truth. Have you ever been shushed at a movie theater? Yes, I have. I think we were with a group of people, cousins and everybody, oh, and I think it was oh kind of yeah. loud, and I remember people behind us going, shh. It's I wasn't cool even noisy when I don't think. Maybe I was. I was going to say, our family is very quiet. At so the we were but, quite a large group. Yeah, we were with a large group of other people that weren't us. And the we did other get people got shushed. <laughs> we did get they shushed. They weren't as quiet as us. Okay. I agree. Uh, so you <laughs> This is slowly coming Jake, apart. Jake, you want to No, Audrey, you have to. You shout it out first. Oh my gosh, this is the worst one. <laughs> Wait, did mom just go? There! Yep. Go dumpster diving in our dumpster! <laughs> yes, hey! Go dumpster diving go, and find something for us. You can go bring it in because it just got no. picked up by the... There's nothing out there. All right, oh, let's go I outside! I've gone in. Dumpster every we week. just got our garbage. But in came. there is filled. I just emptied that one too, right between the videos. It's now out in the garage. Oh, well then that's that's the only garbage nothing. we have. We have no garbage. You got lucky, Audrey. You got way lucky. I've actually done this in someone else's random garbage before. Just like yeah. an empty right. garbage, just for a video. So we comment down like... below. Would you like to see Audrey go dumpster diving? We could make a video on Audrey dumpster diving. Oh, comment down below. Like Aud crying. Hashtag Audrey dumpster dive. <laughs> oh my. I'm gonna find Nothing! Why did find some really cool stuff? Like yeah. what? Coupons? Um, one Gold. man's garbage is another man's treasure. <laughs> okay, so an update on the UFO stuff. Nothing has happened this morning, but last night crazy things did happen. If you didn't yeah. check out the video where we snuck out of this house, you need to because it's crazy. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> yeah. It was way scary. I have so. a feeling we're going to have something happen here, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. stay tuned. I think we're going to send Audrey back home and let her see if anybody follows her. If they do, then we know they're still trying to follow, and if not, then we know it's safe to go back out. So yes. I'm the guinea pig. Yep. <laughs> but you couldn't give them any information because you know nothing. That's true. Just yeah. told me. Audrey's tribute. But one thing that I did find out is how to communicate with aliens or extraterrestrial beings. And like, it's... What? Jake can communicate with me without saying a word. Watch. Did you hear that? Okay, there's a sound. We'll be we'll be right back, guys. Jake is over there still investigating, but he'll be back. Okay, wait. Where'd the laptop go? Ah, so high pitched though. Okay, we're moving to this one. Whoa, one hit. We never knew this. This whole time that we've been here, there's been a secret area behind this stove. Guys, it has been a crazy couple of days. Yeah. Let me tell you. First of all. I can't stop growing a beard. It just keeps growing and growing. Like seriously, I'm like trying to get it to stop. I'll shave, look, I shaved four hours ago. Check this out. It's getting so long. I don't know why this is happening, but I have a feeling it has something to do with what happened when we opened the portal. Let me get this over. Just a couple more entries. Whoa, the light, Jake. Jake. Oh no. I gotta get this entry out. Jake. Atlas is here with us. Atlas, come say hi. And Jake, everybody else is asleep because it's like, seriously, it's like 6.30 in the morning. And ever since that event happened, Jake and I cannot sleep in anymore. Like we wake up at what? Six. Six, literally. that's like sleeping in. Like 5.30, six is about the time that we wake up. And I don't know why, but we're up and we're like, our mind is super active. We just can't go back to sleep. Atlas loves it because Atlas loves to get up early. He's an early morning person, but we're not. I'm gonna try to get shaved again for the day and hopefully this will stop growing or maybe it'll start growing up here. I don't know. Wouldn't that be awesome if I woke up one morning and I had hair like Jacob's on top of my head? Now that yeah. would be cool. But one thing that we've been doing is we've been researching on the computer here. This is Jordan's computer actually. Um, my phone and the computer, I'm, I'm trying to correlate the two. I, 
I can actually like multitask. I can be a surgeon on the computer and my phone at the same time. It is so cool. Like we've we've got I wouldn't want to say superpower. I can read both screens, but not only that, I could be typing on one and typing on the other, and it makes sense. So I could be like searching on Google and searching on Facebook, searching on Bing. You know, I've got like four or five different uh, websites open. But one thing that I did find out, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Is how to communicate with aliens or extraterrestrial beings. It is really cool. I found an article written by Unknown because they don't want to give their name out. But here's here's one thing that they said, and this is pretty groundbreaking. Are you ready? It says that they have coined a principle called the computational equivalence. It's like AI, artificial intelligence. And like, it's, what? Okay, something here that's other crazy. Jake can communicate with me without saying a word. Watch. Jake, let me finish the sentence. You keep cutting me off. Like, I'll be talking. <laughs> Stop it. And then Jake all of a sudden, like, interjects. Seriously, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Jake will interject thoughts into my brain. And what's funny is, like, I can hear him, like, he's yelling at me. Stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell everybody about this. I don't know what unlocked that, but I think it's something to do with this. I think this person had the same. Jacob? Really? <laughs> you want a Twinkie? I get it. Jacob keeps saying he wants a Twinkie. All right, come up with something that's not like so random out there. Okay, let's <laughs> get Atlas to stop. All right, so we got to look up this computational equivalence. And what it, what it says is that our universe in nature is all connected. So like you can actually, Jacob, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> Go if ahead. you want to tell the story, you go, ahead. go ahead. Well, then stop interrupting me. I know you guys can't hear him talking, but it is driving me crazy because he'll be like, Psst, Dad, Psst, Dad. He's trying to bug me is what he's trying to do. So <laughs> basically what this is doing is that all living things like plants and uh, really birds. He says birds. Okay. Plants and animals, they can all communicate together. So like you can understand what, as Jake said, birds can communicate. Atlas, look at Atlas. Can you see him? He He's point. saying, play with me now or I'm going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. Yeah, he is. Atlas gets really annoyed with this when we don't play with him. And he's like projecting those thoughts to us. He's like, I'm really anxious. I've got lots of energy. It's early in the morning. He did say he appreciates us getting up and hanging out with him, but he wants to play. Huh? He wants to play. Wanna Logan, play. on the other hand, when we look at Logan, he's like, hmm, I'm going to take a nap. So uh, sleep in until mom gets up. And he sleeps in until mom gets up. He's like mom's protector. It's really weird as well, because as soon as this all started happening, Logan it does not leave Katie's side ever. Like he's always next to her. Alice, on the other hand, nah, he's happy go lucky. Really? <laughs> Jake. All right. <laughs> Jake says he wants to go play Minecraft, but yeah, we will go. in a minute. So let's let's keep looking up some of this stuff because I think our friends who came and visited us, I'm going to call them friends. <gasps> I think they're really trying to send a message to us. And they're going to use Jake and I as the vessel or the way to be able to communicate with the rest of the world. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be the one that introduces alien technology and alien theory to the world because I don't Me think either. the world is ready for it. And I think something crazy will happen to us. Like we might get locked up or we might be, um, there might be some black suburbans pull up in the front of our house. People get out, come and take us for a field trip, if you know what I'm talking about, right? Really? <laughs> <laughs> we can't say that. <laughs> no, we can't do that. So we don't want to be that that first person or the first people. Maybe we'll let Jake go first. Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> because we all know what happens when the black suburbans show up. And we don't want any of that. But really? Okay. He told me to tell you guys about the 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 cool experiences that we're having. So for example, we'll watch TV at night, okay? Jake and I are watching it, Katie's watching it, Jordan's watching it, Tyler's not really watching it because he's goofing off. But we'll be watching the news, for example. Computers. 
Huh? That's why you would be playing computers. You said that out loud, not in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Jake sometimes gets mixed up. His inside voice and his outside voice get all mixed up. <laughs> but anyway, we'll be watching the news, for example, and they'll be talking about headlines, and we will know already what the headlines are before the news person says anything. It's kind of annoying. Like when we watch movies, and we're what we were watching the other night, that Disney show. Lucas? Uh, is that what it's called? I can't, I can't remember. Anyhow, we already know what the movie's about before we sit down and watch it, so we can't really enjoy it because we can see the whole thing. It's weird. Like, in our mind, we can actually see it taking place. So, movies are no fun for us anymore. Um, watching the news is kind of fun because we get to see how accurate we are. I know your head. We're, we're like taking this, this poll on who can find out more before and Jake is winning because he's like faster than me at this, but I'll tell him. I'll hold on. <laughs> okay, Jake is telling me to tell you guys about some other cool things that we found. Now, I, I've i only downloaded that information on this laptop. Now, this laptop is Jordan's laptop, it's not mine. This is the one Jordan does all her business on. This is how she runs her company, is on this laptop. I used hers instead of mine because I think mine is being tracked. I seriously think there's a government, it's not a cover up, a government, cover up. yeah, Jake said, like Jake said, it's a government <laughs> conspiracy trying to cover all this stuff up, trying to hide it all. I know. Dude, this is so hard to have a conversation with you guys and him <laughs> chattering in my ear this whole time. Like he doesn't stop. He's doing this on purpose because he wants me not to tell you guys all the secrets but I've got to tell you guys some things that are going on. You you need to know. Okay, I'll get to it. Okay, so first of all, let me show you guys this. The, wait. Did you hear that? There's, let's go check out. Okay, okay there's a sound. We'll be, we'll be right back, guys. St stay there. Okay guys, I don't know what that sound was. It was like coming out of the microwave. It was really weird. It's like a high pitching sound, but at the same time it's, I can't quite dial it in, but there's some sort of, somebody's talking. Jake, Jake is over there still investigating, but he'll be back. Okay, wait, where'd the laptop go? Jake. Yeah? Here, I'll call him. Okay, I'm gonna ask you the question. I don't know where the laptop went. See, it works. You didn't take the laptop? I didn't touch the laptop. Well, mom's asleep, Ty's asleep, Jordan's downstairs getting ready. Wait, do you hear that sound? A little bit, yeah. It's coming from over here. Come here. It's coming from here. It's like a high squeaky sound. I've never heard it before. Okay, I don't quite understand it, but I'm hearing something like, free us, free us. Jake, are you hearing something different? Ah, uh, I think I'm hearing the same thing that you're saying. Ah, so high pitched though. Wait, I just heard something that specifically, and I saw, I can't do that. Jake, did you see that as well? I don't want to use the sledge. I don't want to use the sledgehammer. Oh, I've got a picture of us breaking this up with a sledgehammer. I just got a picture of Jake swinging a sledgehammer at the wall. It's getting louder. It's telling us that we have to do this. Jake, let's go get the sledge. We've got to do it. It's not going to stop. Okay, guys, we're back. I couldn't find two sets of safety goggles. This is telling me this is gonna make a big mess. But we keep hearing the same message as yeah, free us, free us, free us. And we're not exactly sure what that means, but the sound is coming from here, and so we're gonna free them. This is the only thing I could find. It was my cool, uh, I'm gonna call them my alien safety goggles. <laughs> Jake has got regular safety goggles on. I'm gonna be behind the camera. You guys have gotta check this out. Here we go. Ready? Oh, by the way, do not try this at home, kids. And don't tell Katie we're doing this. Shh. 
well, plus. I have a feeling she's gonna find out by the wall. <laughs> no, because I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry up and order a different one and get a different one in here, and she'll never know what happened. Um, plus, besides not doing this at home, comment down below. Look up what I was talking about in that article and see if you can find out any other insights that might help us as into why Jake and I are receiving all this information. I know, I know, I know. I'll get to it. Jake keeps telling me to hurry because the noise is getting louder. Should I will, I, start I will. breaking? Okay, Jake, go. Okay. Start breaking. Ah, oh, shit. Good hit. Just leaving marks. Try it again. Try it again. Like that? Wait, 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 wait. Starting to break. Okay, keep going. You can do it. I'm gonna move okay, on to this one. Everything that's above us is shaking. Okay, okay keep going. moving to this one. Whoa, one hit. Dude, that was awesome. I didn't mean to do it that hard. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay, ready? Do it again. Set. Nice. Do the next one. Okay. Nice. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see this, but he is like totally breaking everything. Oh, look, this is getting ready to come out. Here, hit this in again right here. Right let's here? Get yeah, let's get down. Oh. We're, we're doing it. All right. Help. Okay, he's saying to free us. Gotta hit this one more time. Hit it. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, spider web. I didn't know there was a hidden compartment behind here. We never knew this. This whole time that we've been here, there's been a secret area behind this stove. Nobody told us that. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Try this one. Okay, Let's okay. just try all these because it looks like over there there's not a compartment. Yeah, it's just going. a wall. Keep oh. Okay, I'm moving. I'm gonna hit this one again. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Set. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, wait, 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 wait. It's saying something different. It says turn off the camera. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera. We'll be right back. We looked back in there. We couldn't really see anything. But the, the voices keep saying, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. I think we woke Katie up because she also not heard somebody go in the other room and she was like not sounding too happy. While Jake does this, I'm gonna go lock the door so Katie can't get out. Um, I'm gonna try this other end. Maybe okay. something will happen. Be super careful. Okay. This is crazy. We have never done anything like this before. Again, do not whoa. do this at home. You should never. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you do? This bit chipped off. Pull it out. Maybe that's the secret that we're looking for. What? Huh. It's just a wall. But here, I don't know if you guys can see this. But look back in here. There's like, seriously, there's some gross cobwebs right here, like all across here. You guys know how much I love spiders. But there is some sort of a blanket type thing right there. And I don't know if you guys can tell. There's the pipe that goes to the outside. That's to vent this, I get that. But I don't understand why there's fabric back there. I'm wondering if there's a hidden room back there that we weren't aware of. We're gonna figure this out, but I've gotta go lock the door so that Katie does not come out and see this. If she sees this, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna jam the lock. Okay, she can get out. Yeah, hurry. Okay. Okay, this one's pretty broken up. I'm gonna move on to the next. Let's see, if I pull this down. There's something else down in there. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep pulling this apart. We're gonna see if we can get this out. Find out what's behind that drape. The voices just keep saying, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're getting closer, so we're gonna get there. I gotta stay kind of back here in case flying debris happens. I don't want anything to get in my face. Again, Jake's got safety glasses on. Do not try this at home, kids. It says we're doing something good. I hope so, because if not, I'm gonna get in big trouble. 
we'll be back. Okay, Dad's going like crazy, making a ton of noise, which is so loud. But I'm gonna show him to um show him right now. Okay. The... Really drilling at it. All right. I've been looking on the back of some of these these tiles here. Check this out, because I'm I'm hoping that somewhere here on the back is gonna give us some sort of a message. Kind of like how we found in that box that we found on the ground, how there was a strips of, uh, of paper or whatever that stuff is with the, the writings. I'm looking to see if there's more because the voices have changed from free us to find the clue. And, and Jake, this is one of the few things that we can't figure out. Like normally we can see things before things happen. I can't find the clue. In my mind, I don't know where it's at. So my only guess is, I hope it wasn't behind this because I yeah. ripped off some of the drywall. That's not a good thing. Um, my only guess is, is if we pull everything out, the clue might be behind that drape. So we've got to break up enough of this. Look at this. We're making a huge mess. Yeah. But so FYI, Jake, I don't know if you know this, but I called the fireplace. The, the, a company that replaces these. Um, they said they can't get out here for a while, so we're gonna have to totally keep Katie distracted from this room. Um, that and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think the clue is behind this fireplace. So we're gonna keep trying to get this and then we'll show you guys the clue when we find it. I also like how we have one tile that's not broken. that door open up from? Uh, uh, show them. Can you see it? I can only see wires down there. There's something down in here. There's a piece of paper. It looks like it's <sighs> attached to it. Okay, if the clue's on the paper, I broke this all up for no reason. I'm gonna be in big trouble. Whoa. I think I just heard Katie. Shut the camera. Okay, guys. Quick update. I gotta tell you what's going on. So, Katie came out and Jake just hurried up and ran over and, and caught her attention, put her back in the bedroom, I was talking to her. I think Jake saw what was about to happen and so he reacted, which is awesome. Whatever special abilities Jake and I have now allows us to kind of see a little bit into the future as well as communicate with each other. It's kind of cool, but it's a little crazy. But <clears throat> get you up to speed, we had to get Katie out of the house. So Jake faked a toothache. And like he was really good. I'll have to see if he can show you guys what that looks like later. But he faked a toothache. He and Katie went out the front door, went around the house. I don't know how he got her to do that. And Jordan and Ty actually left with him as well. So I'm here by myself. Now, I can't get this fireplace out. I've tried, so I had to call in some reinforcements, some help. Um, they're in the other room right now. As soon as I go outside, I'll go out and show you what's going on and then give you an update. This is crazy but i have a feeling the clue is going to be awesome you guys are going to love this whatever ufo alien intelligence information that we're going to find i have a feeling it's going to be a game changer maybe it'll give us world peace who knows let's hope i did not realize when i first came out here and looked at this mess to what extent this went up in the walls and never did i know that there was a secret room hidden in the walls of our house but even crazier right there that sign? I'm in trouble. <gasps> oh, is that my fireplace? Um. <gasps> Mom's coming. Oh, what are you doing? Where is our fireplace? Floor. There's another piece of bad news. Okay, guys, let me get you up to speed. What's going on here? So, we got the fireplace out, and this is just shielding, backing material. Um, don't really see anything out of the ordinary there. I can't find any clues. I don't know what's going on. I've taken pictures. So when Jake gets back here, he can help me. Now, check this out. The boys, I say the boys, Logan and Atlas are in here. Hey boys. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's a good boy, aren't you? Oh yeah. Okay, so I have to keep the boys locked in here because <laughs> <laughs> the workers came in and they saw the camera and they're asking about the camera and I didn't want to spook them so I so it was no big deal 
I didn't want to get them on camera because I didn't want them like going back and telling other people. So I gotta keep this on the down low. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep noticing things that might be out of the ordinary. But here's the crazy thing is I don't hear the sound anymore. So I don't know if this is a scavenger hunt. I don't know if this is a wild goose chase. Um, I gotta wait for Jake to get back here and maybe the two of us channeling our thoughts might be able to figure this out. But here's my question is how do we hide this from Katie? So this is gonna be Operation Hide from Katie. Hide the evidence from Katie because if she sees that fireplace all messed up like that, I'm in big trouble. So I gotta figure out how to get a fireplace back in, fix all that stuff, and have Katie not notice. Comment down below, do you think Katie's gonna figure this out? Do you think she's gonna get mad? Comment down below, yes, she's gonna get mad, or no, she's not gonna get mad. All right, I gotta turn the camera off, get back out there, act like nothing's going on. I'll check in with you as soon as Jake gets back. Guys, I've gotta give you an update. I did not realize when I first came out here and looked at this mess, to what extent this went up in the walls. So check this out. I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna go straight up. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes way up there. I'm gonna crawl inside with you guys here in just a second. Let me get the flashlight the light for my flashlight. I found something, but I gotta get further inspection to see exactly what this is. But I think, guys, I think we're onto something. I think I know why I was supposed to go inside of here or to dig out this, this stove. I've made a huge mess in the living room. Look at this. I don't know what else Jake's gonna have to do to keep Katie away. Faking a toothache? Genius. He's at the dentist right now though. Not so genius because it may have backfired on him. Katie may have uh, got him for that. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Oh, I can actually stand up. Look, plenty of space in here. Who knew that this was inside of the walls? We've lived here for like six years and never did I know that there was a secret room hidden in the walls of our house. But even crazier, check this out. Right there. That sign, that sign, and that sign. These three things, or symbols, maybe I should call them symbols, are inside the walls here. Now, if you haven't seen some of our previous UFO alien videos, you gotta go check them out because these symbols showed up with the box. Problem is, we've hidden the box because we don't want anybody to know where it's at. And I gotta go see if these symbols are the exact same symbols that were found in the prior uh, video that we showed. If you guys know, go check it out and see. Yeah, that's like just a small portion of the box. Oh. Wait, there's more. <gasps> what? Wait, a spider, a moon, and a bowl? If you guys have seen these symbols, because we gotta look at a couple things. So one is the actual shape, but then the order. So I'm thinking we, we read from left to right, so. That would put this one first, this one second, and this one third. Why are those inside the walls of our house? And what other crazy things are gonna happen? I don't hear the sounds anymore, but I gotta take pictures and I'm gonna send them to Jake to see if he can help me out. Maybe I'll FaceTime him and uh, help me out, or maybe we'll see what's going on with Jake because maybe he just has some teeth pulled. I don't know, we'll be back. All right guys, full disclosure. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh boy, check this out. So now the mantle's broken off. So I thought I would be kind of sneaky and get this taken care of after we heard the sounds, but I think Katie's gonna have to find out because I tried to put the new stove in uh, because I, I didn't tell you guys this, but when I pulled out the old one, I actually broke it. So I had to hurry up and go get a new stove, have these guys come over to help me. It doesn't fit because the opening's not big enough. So I've got to come in now and make the opening bigger. Um, and then now it doesn't meet code with the, with the mantle. So I got to get a different mantle. And now I got to get Katie involved because if I do all that by myself without getting her involved, I'll do it wrong. Meaning I'll do the wrong design or whatever it is. So I'm gonna have to tell her what I found. But the good thing is, is I found those symbols up above so now I can justify why I ripped that out because if I told her I was hearing sounds and Jake told her she, we were hearing sounds she would probably go have us tested to see if we were okay but now because those are in there she should believe the story which is true and and uh, not get too upset the problem is now we got a big hole because if you look right there no, we got to pull out the back of the house. And I don't know when these guys are going to come back to help me. 
because they had other things they got to get done. This should be real interesting. But I'm telling you guys right now, something else is happening. I'm hearing more sounds. Oh, and I think it might lead us to another clue. I'm gonna get a little bit more information before I actually go forward with it because that's gonna be crazy and Katie will go ballistic. So we're gonna get this fixed first. Then we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. But I'm gonna turn off the camera, wait for Katie to come back. Hopefully none of the kids have cavities because Jake put them through going to go get their teeth checked. <laughs> and we'll go from there. So see you in a minute. Okay guys, I just heard the family show up. Katie went out back. I don't know if you can see her. What did you do? You guys can tell. You can tell. I tried to hide it with the, the chair. I'm FaceTime with Audrey. Audrey, look at this. Look at this. Is that our fireplace? Um, kind of. Hold on. What did you do? That is such a mess. Dude, hey, that's a big hole. Dad. I didn't think it would be that big. Oh okay. You got Wait, what did you do? You why, why did you do that? Does mom know? No. How are, we, how are we gonna hide this from mom? We gotta hide this from mom. Why do we have to Cardboard hide Cardboard boxes? Hey, sit down in the chair. Let me see if uh, I can see it behind you. Uh, uh, I don't hide it from mom. You don't think mom will be able to figure it out? I don't think you can even hide this. Okay, mom is out there. I don't know if you can tell. But she came home. And she immediately went out there and was, was watering the garden. So we have a few minutes. Uh, Give me your houses. best thoughts on how I can explain this to mom. I don't know. Audrey and I don't know. I mean, if you're still trying to hide it, then you can do the cardboard box for it. Should we tell her the truth of why we did this? Why? Why did you do this? Okay, look up inside. This is why I did it. Ty, go in there and look up inside. Turn around. Go all the way in, all the way in, all the way in. Now turn around. What do you see? Go all the way in. Turn around, look at the wall. Up, what do you see? Whoa! That's why I did it. How'd you know this was here? Jordan, go in there and look. How'd you know that was there? Okay, so Jake and I were given like, whoa. <laughs> Dude, what are you gonna do? You can totally see all of it. Look at it. This is gonna be expensive. Uh, well, what, what do you see, world? Jordan? Look at this, Hodge. Oh, there's symbols. What yes. in the world? It's Wait, like have you looked? And the other one? Have you looked this up? Okay, if you remember right, those are the same symbols that we found inside the box that we found at the crash site, the UFO crash site. So, okay, here's here's why I dug into it. My beard is getting so much longer now. It's so much longer than even this morning. Okay, so here we go. Something's happening with my facial hair. I can't stop it from growing. Jake and I were given. <laughs> it's true, Audrey. I can't stop it from growing. It won't stop. I can't grow it here, but I can grow it here. Okay, so Jake and I were given like this thought that we could hear inside the wall and it said free us, free us, and there was this high pitched sound. And so we got the sledgehammer out and just started hitting away. I accidentally broke the, the fireplace that was there and now I've got to get a new one. I had to rip all this out to get it ready because I called the company. They came out real fast because they were going to try to help me cover this up so Katie wouldn't find out. But when they came out here, they, it didn't fit, so we had to reframe it. And now the mantle doesn't you fit. You just broke the Nothing entire hurts. fireplace. And so now There's I've got a huge complete. hole in the wall. I've got to tell Katie, but I don't know if she's going to believe me. No. <laughs> help me, guys. Mom, should I, you can show her the same. Should I tell her the truth? Or should I just tell her that it was just time to upgrade and just kind of leave it at that? What do you guys think? Oh. Audrey, what do you think? Should I tell her that we heard voices? Or should we uh, tell her a story like it was just time to upgrade? I think she's going to think you're crazy and um, she's going to have me. Trouble. She's get, I'm going to get in trouble. Jake? I think either way you're going to be in trouble. Okay. I said Jake. you should do both. <laughs> Jake keeps saying in my head, do both, do both, do both. And I said it out loud so you guys could hear it. <sighs> okay, let's go get Katie, and here's the moment of, I've been dreading. <sighs> the bad news is, Audrey, Jordan, is that I'm hearing more sounds, but I'm afraid to act on it. <sighs> let's go get Katie. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that you actually did that. <gasps> Mom's coming. Jordan, look, I think I figured it out. happened what are you doing where is our fireplace what did you do you destroyed our wall okay i have an explanation 
Like, I can you explain. guys all destroyed this? Well, I think where's our this. fireplace? The fireplace is not even in there. <gasps> There's a big hole in the back. Okay, there is a secret room back here though. Come here, check this out. I want to check it out. I want my fireplace back. You'll get a fireplace. I bought a new one. Wait, where'd the metal I... go? Where'd, this... where'd the okay. tile go? Can we start from the beginning. The where's the wall? <laughs> Jake and I this morning, we were hearing voices, and it was saying, set me free, and it was coming from behind the fireplace, so. You're hearing voices behind Jake, the fireplace. Jake, you gotta take credit for this. Too. And so you tear it to the wall instead so, of like, go to the doctor? Then you look. See, I told you she was gonna make me go to the doctor. Yes, because Jake went and got the sledgehammer, and Jake started breaking out Jordan, all Jordan, why did you let them do this? I didn't know it was gonna go on. Look, it was I'm Jake's cry. idea. But just I'm not cry. Look, go in there, there's a secret room. We didn't know we had, uh, this whole time, we didn't know we had a secret room, and there's a message in there, so yeah, I'm not crazy. Go in there and check it out. Oh no, she's gonna make me go to the doctor. <laughs> See, I told ya. Oh my gosh. See, I'm not crazy. How did this get behind me? I here? don't know. This Wait, is... what does this mean? This has always been in our house. Look, but look. Wait, that's always remember been there? Remember this? Yes. Look at this, open that up. Tell me what you see. Remember, that was found inside of the here. Now go back in there and look at that. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm it, not crazy. Isn't the tree Wait facing upward on that one? Wait, so what does that mean? Then? I don't know. This tree's sideways. But those exact same symbols are found on the wall behind this area. So whatever Jake and I were hearing this morning, and by the way, Jake can talk to me without you guys understanding. What? Dude, you're supposed to tell him. He doesn't want to say. What? Okay, so when we went to Grandpa's and we did the whole thing with, we let the aliens Wait, you back. really didn't draw that in there? That I was did not. There? No. Look, the people watching the video will know that we broke in, looked in, found it. And I remembered it's the same same symbols. I don't understand that how that could be because box. we had no access to that when we, we never bought have. this house. So Jake and I heard this morning Wait, saying. Wait, that's probably why the other, the people that lived here before us moved so quick. Could be. Could be a lot of reasons. But Jake and I were hearing set me free, set or set us free, right? Set us free? Yeah. And the high pitched sound. Dude, stop. He's talking to me. <laughs> you can't talk out loud. You can't talk in I your just... head. <laughs> Alright, so we were hearing that. So then we broke it all out. I accidentally broke the, the stove on accident. It was an accident. You so broke I... the fireplace? <laughs> really? I didn't know. Just for this. You broke the fireplace. Yes, well, we gotta keep this. That's okay. great. So I called the company to come out and hurry and put a new one in without you knowing. Well, what happened is, is they yeah, came out here. David. <laughs> trying to bend the Always rules. trying to bend the rules and cover up. Okay, so I tried, and they came out here. The the new one to get hey, up to code. You stuffed my towels. I because there was hot air coming in, so I stuffed a towel in there. So anyhow, we had to tear the mantle off because the new stove, the mantle doesn't work. It's something about code, blah blah blah. So we got to buy a new mantle. So yeah, this little endeavor is going to cost us about five thousand dollars. I'm really really sorry, and I'll have to like mow lawns for free to. For to that, for we that. destroyed our house for that. I'm <laughs> sorry. But, okay, so what do we know? That got us. Where did that get us? That yeah. got us nowhere. We're nowhere. Now we have no fireplace. And where's my mantle? Where's my wall? Where's the floor? There's another piece of bad news. You want to tell her, Jordan? Your Wait, laptop. are you in on this? Were you doing oh, this? No, I wasn't. Jordan, your laptop what? is missing. <gasps> your laptop, dude? No, that has like all my schoolwork and all my like YouTube stuff. I cannot wait to find out what clues or what he's going to give us to help us unlock some of the mysteries. And all of a sudden, Jordan just got a text, and there's a phone number on it. We don't know who yeah. the phone number is though. And we think we found something. But yes. we're not sure. So we started looking closer and we came to this area right here. Hey, somebody just pointed over there. Over there on that kiosk. Can you go over there? Come on. Wait, what just happened? Give me something. Here, I don't want to show it out here though. I'm going to put it in my pocket. He gave you something? Oh my goodness. All right, change of plans. I've got Jordan with me and we are going to try to figure out the next puzzle piece yeah. to this whole arrival of these aliens. Yeah. And so, Mom reached out to Walter. Things are crazy, guys. Like, That's we're trying so hard to figure it out. <laughs> and Walter reached out to Jordan. Mom reached out to Walter. And he said that he would help us, but we couldn't meet in our hometown. We have to go meet him at an undisclosed location in another state. So, we are, as you can see, at, at the, the airport. airport, right back there. 
Yep. We are flying to, I don't know if I can say it yet. Maybe when yeah. we get there, I'll say it. But yeah, I was gonna say maybe just from when we get there. Because right now, I don't know. But Walter said he had something that will unlock a lot of mysteries. Mm -hmm. You ready to unlock some mysteries? I'm nervous. Right. <laughs> I'm nervous. That's all I gotta say. Okay, we're gonna go jump on the plane and we'll see you in the next state and we'll then maybe tell you where we're at. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're at the airport. Jordan is yes. communicating with Walter. He's given us the hotel that we need to meet. I cannot wait to find out what clues or what he's going to give us to help us unlock some of the mysteries because there's a lot of mysteries. Oh my goodness, guys. We are about to board the plane like any minute now. So this is definitely getting real. And like, I just, I can't believe we're actually like flying. This is, normally we would never fly. This is like the first time in what, a year and a half and that we've flown. We're taking all the precautions and everything. Like, yeah. of course, like we're safe We got safe COVID first, tested, but... we've got masks. We're all ready to yes. go. So, yeah. and we're social distancing. So nobody's sitting there next to us. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go find Walter and hopefully find out who he is and what he's about to tell us. Yep, oh, this is crazy. Where do we go, Jordan? I don't know, we're trying to figure it out, but we just keep like going in circles. We don't know where we're going. Can you get a hold of Walter? No, no when I'm like looking, they're supposed to meet us here, so. Okay. I don't know. Uh, it seems a little sus that we're just left here. Yeah, it seems very sus. Okay, guys. Um, We've been walking all throughout this area, and all of a sudden, Jordan just got a text, and there's yeah. a phone number on it. We don't know who yeah. the phone number is, though. And it doesn't but, say to call him or anything. It just There's just a phone number, so. Yeah, I guess we're going to call him and see, because, so, I mean, right now we're just stuck at the airport, so. If it's, if it's like somebody that we don't know, do we just, like, get in somebody's car? Do we trust Walter to let us do that? All right, we're gonna call him and see who it is. So give him a call, Jordan. Oh, man. Okay, well, Jordan calls him. I'm gonna tell you, I'm feeling sus about this whole thing because why should we trust the guy that won't meet us in public and yet made us fly? Should I tell you guys where we are? We're in Los Angeles. So we had to fly like two hours away into like a huge city and call a number that we've never seen before. She doesn't even know who to ask for. Who, whoever's gonna answer the phone, we have no idea who that is. So, all right, if we find them, I'll uh, try to record some of it if they'll let us. Okay guys, so I just got off the phone and it was a car service that Walter had arranged to have um, someone come pick us up. And so we did like a background check and everything because you always wanna be safe and cautious and it's a, like a legit service and everything. And so um, we're currently waiting outside for the car service to pick us up. But if this ever happens to you, don't do it. <laughs> like, don't and, try this at home. Yeah, don't. don't like ever get in cars with strangers. Don't ever call strange numbers. Yeah. The only reason why we're doing is because we've been, well, we kind of know who Walter is, but. Also, we're just being safe and cautious with everything. Like, we ultimately, like, safety is the number one importance. So, just always be careful and don't try this at home. <laughs> That's why we're doing the buddy system as well. That's why we didn't travel alone. See, it wouldn't even be safe for me to go by myself. So that's why I brought Jordan. Yeah, and the family has their location too, so. Yes, we have our phone trackers on, the location's on. So, but as you can see the sign behind us, LAX, we're here. So the driver said that she's gonna take us to the hotel. So we'll see what that's all about. We'll be right back. Maybe we'll be at the hotel, we'll see. We just showed up at the hotel. So the driver that Jordan called was this nice lady that uh, works for a company that totally legit. So it was, we felt okay coming here. Brought us to this hotel. Guys, this is actually pretty cool. Um, this is a nice hotel and Walter paid for it all. Like we got here and the person at the desk was like, oh, are you David and Jordan? Yeah, they hand us the key. They said, everything's taken care of. Go up to your room, check this out. We are in, this suite, but the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see this, but check this out, the view. Right up there on the hill, if you look close up on the hill, you'll see the Hollywood sign. We're in Hollywood, California, so we drove from LA to Hollywood, and we are supposed to go meet Walter in about 30 minutes. So we don't have a car, so we're just gonna walk. 
he sent us these coordinates. We're going to follow the coordinates and go down there and see what's going on. He did say out of our window, Walter said, there are clues. So I'm going to let you guys just check this out real fast. There are clues outside of our window. So as you're looking at this, see if you can find any clues that you might think that might help us with the visitors. Aliens. Ready, Jordan? This is crazy, yeah. <laughs> All right, ah. buddy system, right? Yep. All right. I didn't bring Jake because Jake sits there and talks to me in my head and I can't hear what's going on because he's like always communicating to me without verbally talking. Crazy how he can do it. And like, it's, what? Jake can communicate with me without saying a word. Watch. Jake is back at home at the home base with Katie and Ty. And if anything happens there, they're gonna call us. So, all right, we're gonna go hit the streets right. and see if we can Have find more clues, but ultimately go find Walter. Guys, I just got a text message from Walter right. saying to follow the stars. And literally I look over and look what's on the floor. Stars. We're on the, was this the Walk of Fame, the Hollywood Walk I of Fame? I think so. So it goes like all the way down there. So which direction do you want to go? Oh, I don't know. I oh, say right we there. head that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Okay, we're going to head that way. If that's not right, we'll come back the other way. Yeah. We have been walking oh my. down this path of stars for a long ways. Yeah, we've been trying to follow it. We even went back the other way to try and see if it was over there. It's on both sides of the street, by yeah, the way. But nothing was back over there, so we decided to turn back around and go this way. And we think we found something, but yes. we're not sure. So we started looking closer, and we came to this area right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the, the Chinese theater. And there on my phone, when we came up to this, I had a pin drop pop up on my phone. So yeah. Walter is here. We've yeah. just got to find him now because there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people and I don't know if you can tell, it's, it's kind of like, there's like a lot of like handprints and signatures in the, yeah, right down here. In this cement. So yeah, so a lot of people are coming over here to see that and take pictures with that. But Walter's also here and we had to find him. So we're on the lookout. I think if we look at some of these stones, we might be able to find a clue that will point us to Walter because he's here because it popped up on my phone. So now it's just a matter of finding him. There are stones all through here. Hey, somebody just pointed over there. Over there on that kiosk. You go over there? Come on. Okay guys, it looked like an older gentleman. He was like pointing and waving. Let's go see if we can figure out if this is Walter. Okay, you guys, I cut the camera. Um, as you can see, dad's over there. He's talking to Walter right now, but I had to cut the camera because once Walter saw the camera, he was very upset and he did not want to be on camera. He like refused. And so my dad's over there talking to him and he agreed to like talk, but as long as he was covered. So, and I don't really know what's going on, but I just know that he was not okay with being on camera. So something's going on. Oh, dad just got me. Wait, what just happened? He gave me something. Here, I don't want to show it out here though. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. He gave you something? Oh my goodness, this is something really cool. Yes. Wait, you need to tell me what he said. Okay, he was saying that he's had this object with him for about 50 years. Now, because his identity has been compromised, he feels like he can no longer keep it in his possession because he might be going away for a while. What? I asked him what that meant. He said, I can't elaborate, but it's been, he's been protecting this and he's been the protector of this item. What in the world? Okay, yeah, we need to- I'll show you is, but not here, not here. Yeah, we're very much in public right now. Let's go and let's go see what it is because I'm confused, what? Okay guys, we went back to the hotel room because obviously he gave dad something and um, yeah, so we wanted to talk about it and show you guys because I don't even know what's All going the on. Doors. Okay, All what right. did he give you? He gave me this. I'm only gonna show part of it on camera because if I show too much, whoever's following Walter might fi start following us. But he told me this is one of three items. And when put in a communication device, 
we can unlock and communicate all the secrets and learn everything from the visitors. What? So let me see if I can show part of this. So that's all I can kind of show right now. I'll show you the whole thing later, but I want to make sure I'm home that's with crazy. Jordan and Katie and Jake and Ty and, and Audrey and Spencer before I show this whole, whole piece. I'll again, I'll show part of it. That's but, crazy. Uh, it is super crazy. What in the world? So there's, there's two more out there? He, he told me there's two more. He doesn't have them on him, but he knows where they're at. He gave me some coordinates. I'm going to communicate with Katie and see if I can have her start maybe trying to find him. But uh, oh, he told me also, he said, watch our back because he was being watched. That's why he wouldn't be on camera. And that's why he was behind that kiosk. Mm, oh, no. So we just got to watch our back, guys. All right, let's call Katie. Let's. Yeah, I'm getting nervous door. now. I'm like, oh, this is kind of spooky. people somebody's out there messing with the lock turn off cameras and i'm thinking if we can duplicate this jake we're going to become time travelers but if i can find two and combine the power of these can you imagine what's going to happen whoa it's glowing here maybe with the vibrations it fell down through the new post and it's in the bottom this is going to be an epic day i am going to have two of the three crystals you guys can see down in there i don't know if you can see very well all right, guys, I'm back home. Jordan is downstairs. She's researching a couple things for me. Jake's behind the camera. Say hi, Jake. Hi. He just said hi to me in my head, too. He says, I don't have to say hi out loud. I can say it in your brain. Jake, you got to talk out loud so other people can hear. I know we have the special ability, but you got to be able to help me out, okay? All right, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys in this episode what Walter gave to me because it's been driving me crazy and there's been some special things like some different things going on that I can't quite figure out. Katie is downstairs uploading some videos so go check those out because she's uploading the videos that were prior to this one because she wants to let you guys know some of the secrets and some of the tips that we have found and I think those will be very instrumental for you guys to help us. Please comment down below anything that you guys see here or notice in these videos that could be hints to help us out because I think we've missed a couple. I gotta go back and watch them, but I know you guys are so much better at finding all the details. So please just comment down below what it is that you guys are finding that we can get help with. Now, some of you guys have commented that I'm going a little crazy because of this whole aliens thing that because whatever happened with Jake and I at the room where we made contact with the aliens. Let me get this over. Just a couple more entries. Whoa, the light, Jake! Jake! Oh no! I gotta get this entry out! Jake! Jake! Can you hear me? Jake! And since then, Jake and I have got powers. You guys are starting to say I'm getting a little crazy. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. So everything's good, alright? So I'm good in the brain. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna show you what Walter gave us because I think it's actually giving me even more clarity. I've been searching some more stuff on the internet here and I think I found what the next step's gonna be. Check this out. Come here, Jake. This is what Walter gave us. I feel confident that I can show you guys this. You gotta come in close, Jake, so you can show everybody. All right? Look at this. It's a little bit of a broken piece because this piece here used to have more on it. You can tell there was an impact right here. You can see kind of like the impact pieces there, but up here, much clearer, much cleaner. It's cut precisely. Like this is like some sort of ancient stone that was developed to do something. Like some of these sides here are completely smooth. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Can you see that Jake, how smooth that is? And then it's like a sharp turn and then smooth again. I don't think nature could create that that type. I think it was actually man-made, meaning they, they found this crystal and then they cut it to certain dimensions to make it perform different ways. Now, I've been researching and crystals, when cut in certain ways, can give off different type of vibrations, can give off different type of sonar type of uh, sounds. Uh, it can react differently with light. And so the way that they're cut indicates how they're used. And so I think the, can I say the aliens? Terrestrials? So, the aliens that used this, used it to transport through time and space. And I'm thinking if we can duplicate this, Jake, we're gonna become time travelers. 
This is gonna be crazy, what do you think? Yeah, I know, I know it's crazy and I know no one's ever done it, but trust me, Jake, we can do it. No, Jake, we can do it. You gotta talk out loud so people can hear. Whatever, all right, so I've been researching. Now, I don't know if this is like a smoky quartz. You guys, I know you guys are super smart. Check this out. Go to the old interweb and Google what you think this is. Now, I think it's smoky quartz. Now, this is what smoky quartz can do. It says provides grounding for all your endeavors, which is what I need, right? And is a protective stone. Makes sense if you're gonna be time traveling with this. It is superb antidote to stress, which is nice because time traveling can be very stressful. It absorbs negative energies, which is awesome. And is helpful in problem solving, which is great because I need to know how to figure this out. And I'm telling you, something's like vibing with me with this. Um, it says it stabilizes emotions and dispels anger. So I'll tell you, when I hold this, I do feel a lot calmer. And I feel a lot more confident that we're gonna be able to figure this out. Now you guys ready for the next piece? This is the part that I'm a little apprehensive because I think Katie is gonna flip out. Now, you guys know, remember, over here, Jake and I took apart the stove. Okay. I'm gonna move it to this one. Whoa, one hit. We never knew this. This whole time that we've been here, there's been a secret area behind this stove. That was just one thing that I think is gonna happen because Katie was okay with that once I told her, hey, I got a new stove. It's gonna work better. I was able to cover my tracks. Once she found the signs up inside the wall, she figured out why I did it. But I'm starting to feel drawn messages coming from this crystal telling me that there is another crystal here in the house and it's going to lead me to it. I know, Jake, it, mom's not gonna believe me. But if I find it, I'm gonna be able to show Katie and Jordan and Jake and Ty that one, I'm not crazy. I think I'm the only one that's like very in tune here. And I don't know why, I think maybe something's going on. But anyhow, I'm gonna find another one of these cause I'm getting a vibe that there's another one of these hidden in the house. And remember, Walter said that there were three. I don't know where the third one's gonna be, but if I can find two and combine the power of these, can you imagine what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're gonna unlock all the mysteries. We're gonna be able to time travel. We're gonna be able to travel through space and time. You guys ever watch like Star Trek? Like, we're gonna be able to do so much more than what they did. And we're gonna be able to help out the whole world. Can you imagine what that's gonna be like? That's gonna be awesome. Okay, here's the other part. I have a feeling I know where the other piece is. It's hidden where you would never think it's at. All right guys, I stumbled across this, but something in my head was telling me, what, Atlas? I know, I know, everybody wants to see this. Okay, Atlas and Logan have both seen this, and so they know, and I think they're probably in tune with some of this, this uh, crystal's power, maybe we call it that, crystal's magic, crystal's aura, something, whatever it happens to be. But watch this, as I walk around the house, right here, nothing, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now remember, something is hidden in this house, and I've walked through the whole house, but when I get to a certain point, Almost right here. Watch what happens to the crystal. Here we go. And there it goes. You see that? And it's gone. I think the other crystal, it's twin, maybe we call it, because there's three of them, so triplets. I think it's in the newel post. I think it's down in here. Now, if I were to hide something, I've heard that some newel posts are hollow, right? And so I'm thinking if I can get the top of this newel post on or off, there's a crystal like this hidden down in here. Look, it would fit perfectly right in this section right here. My goal is to get the top of that newel post off. Now, if I do that, I'm gonna ruin the newel post. But if I'm right, I'm gonna be a hero. So check this out. It's time to change the newel post. Safety first, because I don't know what's gonna happen. I got the saw. <laughs> Wish me luck. Here we go. Once I start, I can't stop because there's really no fixing this. So I'm hoping, hoping that my theory is correct. <sighs> okay, it's cutting super easy, which tells me it's hollow. Okay, it's getting a little harder. <sighs> now I'm really tired. All right, it's not loose yet. <laughs> Okay, halfway through, let's see. 
We pull this out. We grab the crystal. Over here, nothing, right? Look at it start to glow. I can't make this stuff up. This is really happening. All right, I've gotta be right, correct? I mean, the, the voices in my head tell me so. Come on, I can do this. I can do it. Oh, guys, it came off. I just saw it through the new post. But look, come here closer. It's not hollow. I'm wrong. How am I gonna cover this up? I don't know. Let's see, if I turn this. There. And if I just glue it back on, nobody will know. The crystal, let's see. It's not glowing there anymore. Wait, it was glowing around here. Whoa, it's glowing here. Maybe with the vibrations, it fell down through the new post and it's in the bottom. That means I gotta cut the whole new post off. I gotta get some better tools. As you know, the top of the new post, I cut it off. I still might be able to redeem myself if I glue it on, nobody will know. So shh, if I end up doing that, nobody comment that down below. But I'm trying to figure out how to take this apart. There is a little dowel here in the end. And at the end, there's a screw here. And I think if I take this out, a long screw <laughs> I think now oh, look this whole thing wiggles what okay operation find the crystal in the newel post that's what this is all about but I don't know how this comes off is this I've never done this before I've never done any type of remodeling when it comes to railings I thought for sure this is hollow I read online that they are hollow ones, but if it fell down in here and it's in this bottom part, should I take the saw to that and just cut that off and see if that's, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Guys, I'm gonna figure this out, guys. I am gonna find that second crystal. This is gonna be an epic day. I am gonna have two of the three crystals. And, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I gotta calm down, I gotta calm down, calm down. I, I can't let the power get to my head because I need to be calm, I need to be clear. I'm gonna travel through time, guys! <laughs> if you could travel through time, what were, what would be, I can't even talk, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I can think so much faster than I can talk, that's, it's, it's Jake, I know, I know, I know, and, and Jake's talking in my head too, but if I could do things like this, I could go back and I could change the course of time, I could end, world hunger, I could end war, I could have peace. This would be a totally different world. I gotta get this, guys, I gotta find this. If it means tearing up some carpet and breaking a newel post to be able to find it, it's worth it. Let's see. Guys, I gotta figure this out. How did they do this? Okay, did they glue carpet to the floor? Okay, don't need that anymore. Eat. Okay, okay, look, look, down in here, Jake, look. Oh, oh, okay, I'm kind of back. I've kind of, I've kind of crossed the line. I've crossed the line, a point of no return. I don't think I can hide this. Now, I'm gonna maybe have to get a rug and put it down and, and glue for this, right? But, uh, it's okay, I'll figure it out. All right, let's pull this up here. Let's pull this up. All right, I don't know what this went to, but extra pieces. It's kind of like, you know, like when you put together a model and stuff like that, and there's always extra pieces left over. That's kind of what's happening here. We got extra pieces. All right, I don't see where, look, check this out, Jake. Do you see how this no post is connected in? It looks like it goes down into the floor. You know what that means? It's time to bring out a big saw. <laughs> oh my goodness! What are we gonna do here? Okay, maybe I can just eat it. Ready? Eat son! Eat son! Eat son! It's much stronger than I thought. I'm pretty sure it's nailed in right here where that hole is. Right in here? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna work on this for a few more minutes. We're gonna turn the camera off, and then when I make some progress, I'll be back.
Okay guys, this is getting a little out of hand. I can't figure out how to get that out. I found like three big screws, took them out, but it's still not coming off. So I think the whole thing's connected somehow. So I pulled screws out of there. Jake, can you yeet sun that up? Yeah, okay. Both hands. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, that came up. Oh, okay. All right, making some progress. All right, gotta be careful. That's a big drop. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta take this off. So this, Jake, if you wanna come down here and hold this in. I gotta Let me set this down. pull this up. It's gonna be under here, guys. I know it. Pull it. Oh, 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 I can hear it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is getting crazy. This is getting awesome. Dirty Note to it. you guys, do not do this at home. If uh, you find crystals and they're telling you to do this, get your mom and dad involved. Don't do this at home, because uh, I have a bad feeling I'm gonna get in trouble with Katie. <gasps> this whole thing just came up. Okay, move it this way, down this way. Careful, there's nails. Don't fall down the stairs, because now we don't have a real in. Okay, let's see what this does. Now let's see if I can find it. Gotta get over here, gotta find this, gotta get it. Okay, all right. The only thing that's left is a new post. The one thing that is stopping me from being able to find the next the next crystal. All right, so I pulled the whole thing off there. I pulled the stairs off. I kind of had to do this. I kind of go, yeet, son. Oh, oh my gosh, I just ripped it off. Yeet, don't need that. So see, it's wiggly now. I can wiggle it. Oh, I think it's coming up. I think I'm moving it. Let's see. Someone's super strong. Jacob! You're holding this up. Oh, just so you know, Jordan's behind the camera. Say hi, Jordan. Hi. What is happening? I'm finding the next crystal. Remember the first crystal that Walter gave us? You just broke Hollywood? down the stair railing. I'm telling you, I have a feeling it's very limited time. <sighs> Guys, disappointment. Not hollow. Um, and there was the, the paper that was on here was the like the sticker that comes on these that tells you what it is. This was a 54 inch newel post, uh, colonial style, I think is what it said. So, um, but look, I there's a screw right there. I totally bent that over, <laughs> get it out. And this, oh, I tell you, I'm in trouble because I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know how to fix this. Look at the railing. It's gone. <laughs> Katie is definitely gonna notice this. And I gotta come up with a reason why I did this. I've gotta find that crystal. That's the only thing that's gonna save me. Check this out. So, there's a big hole. You guys can see down in there? I don't know if you can see very well, but there is a lot of space in there, and I think I see something reflecting back at me. I can't get my hand down there. Look, uh, Jake, lean that up against the couch and come over here. Okay. Let's see if Jake can get his hand. Jordan, can you get your hand down there? Let's see if Jordan's hand can fit. I can only go like up to your knuckles. Yeah. That's about all I can do too. But there's something down there. All these hidden rooms. Can you get your hand in there, Jake? Nope. I can just get my fingers yeah, in. It's too small. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. All right. So I grab the crystal. Look over here. No, no light. If I come down here, look at that. The light starts coming out from it. All right. I think. Dad. Jake, you're tied. Don't. Oh, no. You can notice. You can tell? Yeah, I can. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, here. I'm, yeah. I'm, there's a hole. Look. Tell me. Oh, Jake, Ty, perfect timing. Can you get your hand under there? I can try. Okay, let's see. See if you can get your, oh, see, you. see way down there in the corner? There's something lodged down there. Can you get your hand down there and see it? In the corner? Yeah, right down there. First of all, see if you can get your hand in there. Oh, <gasps> you can. Okay, can you reach far enough in there to get that? It's it's in the middle it's, or? It's kind of back towards that side. Let's see if you touched it. I don't hole. know if you can reach it because your elbow is going to get stuck. It's way down there. You know what might help? If we take that red here. We don't need this. Yeet. Okay, 
It's, oh, that's super bright now. That's burning, oh, that thing. That's burning my eyeballs. That? Yeah, right there. I think it's the second crystal. It looks like it, because it's reflecting light back at us. Atlas right, let's just try to grab it with this The paw. problem is, is, okay, so we have, um, Can you just use what's this? called the central vacuum. And I see the central vacuum line. And now I know why our central vacuum doesn't work very well. Because this, this, I think the crystal is lodged up against it. All right, so it's definitely worn a hole into our second uh, central vacuum. That's why I think it's not working and there is a lot of garbage hey, down there now. Um, but I think that is the crystal. So here, Ty, hold this. You hold the light. Can you lift up on the carpet where I accidentally tore it? Oh, you tore the carpet? It was an accident. I've got this tool that has like a grabber. Can you see that? All right, and it's long. So it's about as long as my arm, which should be long enough to reach down in there. Ty, what do you think? Do you think I got it? Sure. Oh, I got it. I got it, Ty. Careful. Don't bump my hand. Oh, it fell. Ah! Try the problem, try again. The problem is, is it's like as big as this thing. So, okay, one more time. Here we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like sweating. Ah. Okay, light down inside the hole, bud. All right, thank you. Okay, it's on it. Now I gotta be careful, careful, huh. uh, careful, careful, careful. Yeah. It's almost there. Almost there. Got it. I got second crystal. I got second crystal. Where's the first one? Where's the first one? Guys, watch. What? Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Whoa. 